Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing my nighttime cleaning routine as well as a yummy fall recipe. Let's get right into today's video. I want to share with you guys how to make this delicious jambalaya soup. It is so good. And as we get closer and closer to fall, it is seriously the perfect recipe. So here's some of the ingredients that you're going to need. You want to start by heating up a pan with some olive oil. You can also cook this recipe in a crock pot or an instant pot. But today I wanted to use my Dutch oven. And once you add the chicken, you just want to cook it till it's brown on both sides. It takes about three minutes. I am cooking this on high heat. It does make quite the mess, which is why you saw me add that little net there but this just gets it nice and brown and really brings out the flavor in the chicken now that we have that chicken browned and set to the side I'm working on the other ingredients so I heated up the sausage until it was slightly brown then I added some red onions some garlic of course I'll have the recipe typed down below for you guys I'm adding in some green pepper just all of the vegetables and letting it saute for a few minutes Now that we have everything sauteed, I'm gonna go ahead and add one carton of some chicken stock. You're also gonna need some diced tomatoes as well. And then I'm gonna be adding in quite a bit of seasonings to make this jambalaya super flavorful. After you have all your seasonings added in, go ahead and give everything a good mix. And then we're going to add the chicken back in so that way it can continue to cook. And you wanna let it come to a boil before you cover the pot and bring it down to a simmer. The soup has been cooking for about 25 minutes and it's all done. So go ahead and remove your chicken thighs and we're gonna be shredding those. And then we're gonna be adding in the shrimp for about five to 10 minutes until it's fully cooked through. So here's how the chicken should look. You can also use like skinless chicken thighs, but I personally love shredding the chicken with the skin. It just adds so much amazing flavor to the soup. So I give everything a good stir and that is really it, you guys. This soup is so delicious. The perfect recipe as we go into this cooler weather. time to take care of the kitchen and one of my favorite things about that recipe is that it requires like almost no dishes you just need that one pot and these are just some dishes that we had from earlier that I need to wash so I'm just loading everything in the dishwasher by the way these dishwashing gloves do not get these you guys I got them because they're so cute but they do not work like you're supposed to wear both of them and the dishes kept slipping out of my hands and so now I'm just wearing one and I just don't know who designed this they didn't think it completely through so here to tell you, you do not need these, but we're gonna take care of all these dishes because we have quite a bit to do in the kitchen.
all the dishes washed and I'm gonna go ahead and dry them. I always share with you guys, take that extra step and just get your dishes dried and put away because to be honest, does the kitchen really feel clean when you just have dishes sitting out on the countertop? To me, it doesn't, it feels cluttered and it just doesn't give a clean look. So I want to not only clean the kitchen, I wanna put things away and especially in my after dark cleaning routine. So that way it's just one less thing I have to do in the morning. I already have to unload the dishwasher. So just making sure the dishes that I hand washed are put away just makes things that much easier. And we're using my Blue Land cleaner to wipe down all the surfaces today. It's really cool because it's just a spray bottle and you add like a tablet and water and you can just order like new tablets. The only thing, it doesn't have any scent and I typically like cleaners with scent. So definitely getting used to that, but it does do a really good job. So once a week I do a deep clean in the kitchen and I wipe down every single surface and we had several days until that was due, but these cabinets, I could just not go another day seeing food grime on them. So we're just gonna go ahead and take the time to do these. Usually this is not a part of my after dark cleaning routine, but just figured I'd go ahead and take care of it today, wipe them down really well, as well as the handles. We are almost done with this kitchen. We wiped down the top cabinets, the stove, the microwave. Now we're wiping down the countertops and we're gonna be working our way down and taking care of those lower cabinets. It's really just the upper ones that get super dirty. The bottom ones hardly get anything on them, but I figured since I did the top ones, I might as well do the bottom ones as well. The kitchen is definitely always the thing that takes the longest, which is why I pretty much start with the kitchen in every single video. Once you get that done, like everything else is a breeze. Blissy girl wanted to come by and say hi. I'm just wiping down at the dining table because we made it quite the mess here from dinner. And then we're just gonna be moving into the living room here shortly and just making sure everything's picked up and fluffed up and ready to go for the next day. We're gonna take a few minutes to vacuum the couch and I also wanted to wash all of those blankets. We love cuddling up on the couch with our blankets. So I like to keep them washed. So they're nice and fresh. I pop them in the washer machine and then when we're done with this cleaning routine, I will pop them in the dryer and they will be ready for the next day. But I just like to vacuum the couch after the day. I don't do this every day, but at least every couple of days just to keep the couch nice and fresh. We 
we are almost done with this after dark cleaning routine. I have a few more things to do and we will be ready to go for the next day. You guys will have to let me know down in the comments, how do you keep up with all of your household chores? I know there's so much that always needs to be done and I just love hearing people's strategies of just how you keep up with it all. I know I've shared on my channel, I definitely don't do all of this alone. My husband is always helping out so, so much with the cleaning, so that helps out a lot. And then also having a cleaning checklist helps out a lot as long as you're staying consistent with doing it. That's the key. But you'll have to share any like strategies or techniques that you do to just keep up with your household chores. One of my favorite cleaning hacks is having a Roomba vacuum cleaner that you run one time a day. Sometimes I'll even run this twice a day. It just does such a good job at keeping your floors nice and clean, especially if you're not in the mood to like pull out your vacuum, it does it for you, which is great. And also gives me time to move on to another cleaning task. So I wanted to fold this load of laundry that I washed earlier. We're gonna get it folded and also put away tonight. So that way when I go to do any laundry the next day, I don't have a load waiting for me in the dryer. Thank you guys so much for watching today's After Dark Clean with me. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and definitely consider hitting that subscribe button if you are new here. I'd love to have you join the family here on my YouTube channel. That jambalaya soup recipe will be typed down below in the description box as well as all of my recent videos. And I will be seeing you all very soon with a brand new video. Bye.